I feel like quarantine has unlocked my grandma mode. I've just been baking and cooking and wanting to knit and crochet everything. An introvert's guide to surviving quarantine. Everyone is responding to the pandemic in a very different way. We have more people unemployed now than ever. Here in San Francisco at least, quarantine is going on indefinitely for COVID-19, which is really scary for me. I was inspired to share with you my current self-care routine, habits that have helped me cope with quarantine and just staying at home and keeping sane. As a first generation American, I had to translate all of the forms for my parents and pretty much just handle the whole process for them. Really frustrating, my mom wasn't paid for about two and a half months. So there was a bit of a worry about whether or not they had enough money. beginning of quarantine I was obsessed with checking the news, always refreshing my Instagram feed and seeing what everyone else was doing but I realized it was just such a toxic cycle. I was constantly just checking something and just waiting for something bad to happen. There's always going to be something on the news that will capture attention, that will make you feel some type of way. In the morning, I like to do morning pages because I've learned that if I wake up in the morning and start scrolling through social media or even looking at Instagram, I just get sucked in for at least an hour. The side of my arm goes numb. I usually drop my phone on my face a few times and then I just wake up with this sense of anxiety and stress and that is not how I want to start every single day, mostly in a not so positive way. And if you're struggling with creativity, I find the most inspiration in the mundane things in life, like taking a shower or walking my dog or during my exercise. Something about taking that mental break really brings back that creativity. My second tip is to participate in a live workout. Something about it being live made me feel more accountable and I wanted to show up, plus I was paying good money for it. So of course I'm gonna go take the class because not gonna waste it. And I did a seven day workout challenge with Mint Studio and woo, it was fire. My abs were on fire. My whole body was on fire. I could barely walk up the stairs. When I did that challenge, I ended the week feeling the most clear and calm. habit is sleeping in. I know this is really strange because in my regular day-to-day -day life, I would never sleep in. I always set five alarms and then I would wake up around like 9 or 10 a.m. But nowadays, I wake up around 6.30 to 7 because I have so much energy in the morning, partially from the anxiety of reading the news, but also just the energy from doing the workout from the day before. So I highly recommend turning off all of your alarms just so you can get in that natural sleep cycle that you need. I'm a true believer that if you have a cluttered space, you have a cluttered mind. I'm looking around my room right now and it's a complete hot mess, just like myself. But that's okay because we can clean it up, we can put on a cute outfit, hide it in the closet. But trust me, if you develop good organization habits, you won't have to worry about the clutter reappearing again. I'll link a few organization videos that have helped me down below. Lately, I've been doing a lot of baking. Something about the process of baking and cooking recipes from scratch has been extremely rewarding. I love the idea of being able to do a start to finish project at home and why not do it with food? I've been experimenting with a ton of vegan recipes, Asian recipes from my mom. I know you guys love my Chinese clay pot rice, my bo zai fan recipe, so I'm definitely going to do a part two. Number six is reconnecting with your family and making sure to call or message them. I know this might be a little thing that you kind of forget because 
you're just at home and you honestly have nothing to update them on but trust me if you call your parents or even like call your grandparents they'll definitely appreciate it i know my grandma always appreciates it when i say hi to her and just like catch up with her even though she always says ali you're wearing too little clothes you need to put on another jacket you look really cold <laughs> and she always says have you eaten yet such a chinese thing been game changing for me is purchasing physical books. Something about just being able to disconnect from my phone and putting it away and just getting absorbed into a story has been very helpful and able to create a little sense of I guess separation between work for me because you guys know all I do is post on social media so being away from my phone feels like a nice break. I've been reading Brene Brown's Daring Greatly and I've been trying to practice different ways to be more vulnerable in front of the camera. I'm not the best storyteller, I'll be honest with you, which is why I'm trying really hard in this video to share my personal anecdotes and stories with you. I'm not sure if it's a cultural thing where I'm, I've learned to just suppress my feelings and don't show any signs of weakness that makes it difficult for me to share my thoughts and how I'm really feeling. My automatic response to being in front of the camera is be happy and joyful because that's what everybody wants to see. But I'm a real person and <laughs> I have real struggles that I think you guys could definitely relate to. So I'm really trying. Healthy habit number eight actually connecting with your significant other. I know you're probably stuck at home and you are you probably want to kill each other by now, but at the same time, when was the last time you had a real conversation and asked them how they're doing? The other day I was chatting with Scott just asking about work and he really opened up to me and I was completely shocked because we had spent two and a half months together and I had no idea he was feeling that way. So maybe not even with your significant other but even a friend like maybe it's time to check in on them and see how they're doing. So that's something I've been learning to do more of. Am I the only one who's not playing Animal Crossing? I couldn't get my hands on a Nintendo Switch, which is why I have no idea how to play or who's on it right now. I have serious FOMO, but my next tip is to play a game with your friends. I played Kahoot, which is more of like a quiz game, and that was a lot of fun. I really like playing Drawful with my friends, and usually I get a really great laugh out of it. We never put our real names because we just want to pretend to be the other person, and we always embarrass each other. One of my new favorite hobbies is having a little herb garden. So I've been going to the grocery store and strategically buying herbs that I can regrow, things like chives, basil, you can even regrow lettuce if you cut off the tops. There's so many herbs and herbs are just a fun way to add some spice, like literal spice to your life because guess what, my, like life, feels pretty boring and I know Bella's like yeah super boring all you've been doing is just like sitting at home and binge watching Netflix videos and not really doing anything <laughs> so I really like regrowing things my mom just taught me how to regrow mung bean sprouts which is super cool I didn't even know you could do that at home it's such a cool little hack If you're mentally sick of the place that you're in and you just want to escape and you're feeling claustrophobic, rearrange your furniture. Oh my gosh. Something about just rearranging your desk and putting it in a new place just feels life changing. When I moved my desk towards the window, I was able to get a lot more natural light and I was able to work a lot more efficiently. Another way to amp up your space and make it feel more energized is by using an oil diffuser. I've purchased a few that I really love, which I'll like highlight over here. And it just gives me this zen feeling, feels like I'm in a perfume store or what I would imagine if I was walking through a farmer's market or even like a fresh herb field. It just takes me to so many different places. So you can customize your scent to anything that you want. You can also spray your favorite perfume or even cut like oranges or lemons. Bella's like, yes, I'd be totally down for that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you would never get sick of a place, would you? 
And if you've been considering getting a dog, I would highly recommend it because having a pet in quarantine has just been so soothing and she's such a nice support animal. Even though I talk to her every night and I'm sure she has no idea what I'm saying, it's just very calm. It's like having a life-size teddy bear that you can hold. I know there's all this pressure in quarantine to be the best version of yourself, but it's okay if you're not. I've taken quarantine as an opportunity to reflect on myself, what I've been doing in the past year, and trying to change all of those bad habits that I've developed from living such an on-the-go lifestyle. I'm able to finally reflect and prioritize things that really matter to me I really care about organization and for some reason just being on the go all the time has made me a huge mess in my work life, in my personal life. I hate the person that I've become and it's really frustrating. I love drawing ever since I was a little kid. I've always wanted to take art classes and I always made this excuse that I would take art classes when I had free time and I would always push it off later like oh I could do it next week or the following week. It will always be there. and. This pandemic has just put my whole life in perspective that I should chase after the things that matter to me and what I do care about is creativity and being the most creative version of myself so I could be the best version for you guys. I feel like I've become this machine in producing videos where I would create content super fast. Like I'm one person. I like to keep a sense of personal touch in everything that I do, whether it's in the editing or just honestly just being on camera. I think there's so much that I can improve on and I've been trying to learn different ways I can just make the content that makes me happy. Um, so if you're feeling this pressure of like being unemployed, not knowing what to do or just feeling lost, don't worry because I'm in the same place with you. I'm in the same boat. I'm just as lost, but I think we're gonna get through it. We're gonna push through and we're going to become better people. It was so great just sitting down and chit-chatting with you guys through healthy habits that have helped me stay sane during quarantine, especially as an introvert. I know sometimes it's difficult to reach out for help. I hope you don't feel alone in this because I'm in the exact same boat. If you're interested, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more videos. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!